Hello, hello, and happy Saturday. It is actually the first weekend of August. It is Saturday, August 3rd, and it feels like forever since I've talked to you guys, but I promise I've attempted to vlog. Um, our, we officially moved last weekend. Um, Cole and our friend Nolan helped bring all of our big pieces of furniture from the apartment over to the house and by the time all of that got here we just did not feel like trying to figure out where all of the little things were going to go and that said I didn't get a ton of clips during the weekend so I was like oh let me like carry the vlog into like the work week and I'll get some clips in the evenings while we're putting stuff away but last week really put me through the ringer emotionally, like mentally. It was just, it was a really rough week and I just was not in the right headspace. It did not <laughs> feel like filming. And honestly, we didn't really make any progress in the house at all because by the time I got home, I was so drained. I just, I didn't, we didn't do anything. That's pretty much it. It was work and school and we made a few trips back to the apartment to grab a few smaller things um so this vlog feels like a fresh start and i'm really looking forward to it like i said it is saturday it is around 12 30. cole and i actually slept in quite a bit this morning um should preface sleeping in for us is like 8 45 um so that was really nice and then i had a call with my group for school so worked on a few things um that i needed to wrap up for this week and i plan on just focusing on all of my school for next week tomorrow so tomorrow will be a very school heavy day um but today should be a little bit more fun here's what i'm thinking cole is currently building our second nightstand for the bedroom while he's doing that i'm going to tackle back there which is our bathroom and our closet um it's there's there's just stuff everywhere and honestly i want to say bathroom stuff has to be one of the hardest to put away because it's so many small things and you think it's gonna go here but then that becomes more stuff than you realize and you feel like you need to move it there and then you're like do I need a little storage container for this so honestly that part's been like the most overwhelming to me so but that is okay we are going to tackle it today and I'm hoping to maybe go do some shopping too I actually really need to make some Amazon returns that, that should be the big <laughs> priority. I have a literal five by seven area rug that I need to tape up and return. And I need to return a book. I accidentally bought two of yours truly by Abby Jimenez instead of one. So I need to return that as well. Um, but yeah, let's go in here. to eat a snack and watch the Olympics with Cole, but let me show you the progress so far. I feel like it's coming together pretty good. So these are my dresses. This is my part of the closet. It's literally like 25% Disney t-shirts, a good like 25 to 50% 
crew neck sweatshirts, but alas, those are my clothes. Um, this little bin, this is just like a robe. And we've got bags, we've got Coles swim and like winter things. And then these are my wintery things, hats and swim things. We got rid of quite a few shoes, but this is a basket of shoes that I wanted to keep, but I don't wear often. These are shoes I wear kind of often. These ones are more fall, but more go-tos. Um, extra hangers, cold sweatpants, my like work pants, crop tops, tube tops, tank toppy things. My jeans, my shorts, my sweaters. These are Kohl's like khaki pants and jeans, which he never really wears. And then this is Kohl's half of a closet. So just his t-shirts, his shorts, spare hangers. And then Cole doesn't wear long sleeves, but he still has a ton of like button up shirts and sweatshirt type things. Those are some of his shoes. And then this is kind of just like a miscellaneous box and then these are shoes that we actually kind of wear all the time but I am here I'll talk to you in here um, but I'm currently trying to figure out a shoe rack slash entry table situation um, for the front of the house so those will hopefully find a home soon but still I'm trying to figure that out now my next big to do get back out here is bathroom things that's just like makeup just so much stuff and then we have stuff in these bags and all that so let's try and tackle that <laughs> break but let me show you the progress it probably isn't going to seem like a lot of progress but it is because i cleared out a whole tote and all this little bag so let me basically this is my half of a sink this is cold so that's all of his to sort out but these are things i want to get little canisters for and these are like all of my bobby pins and hair ties and i'd like to have a little container of them close by so keeping those out for the reminder this is kind of like my everyday drawer, face towels, brush, scalp massager, skincare, deodorant, things like that. This is my makeup drawer. Those two can be for coal. Here's my under the sink. Um, we've got like <laughs> bags, which I know I have a lot, but cosmetic bags. These are all like hair clips, hair scrunchies, heatless curler pads and tampons sorry we're like getting really close <laughs> um razor blade refills glasses this is kind of like my things i want close but don't quite use every day we have like some exfoliant contact stuff press on nails contacts eye patches um soap so kind of a miscellaneous use it often but not daily and then Ooh, okay. <laughs> and I need to still wash a lot of our towels and stuff, but this is kind of like my hair care bin, hairspray, texture spray, oil, extra shampoo, heat tools. This is all my travel stuff. This is just like a bag of extra beauty blenders. And this is all miscellaneous stuff that still doesn't quite have a home. I'm feeling a lot better about this space i think bathrooms just take a long time to figure out where you want everything and where you naturally go to grab stuff so excited to have that done um i can give you a little bit of a bedroom update also you're having trouble focusing today um you've seen the dresser and stuff um but we officially have 
our nightstands built. Not gonna lie, they look a little bit more distressed than I would have thought they would, especially once you get up close and you see all these pieces, but they are really pretty, I think. They do have outlets in the back. I don't know if you can really see. Um, and then got this lamp from Ikea. Cole's building the other one for over there. Um, so it has a little tray, a little top drawer, which is nice to put like pajamas in. And I have like all of my little lip mask, things like that. And don't have anything for these two drawers yet, but I feel like this is coming together. Still need to pick out a new comforter for this bed, um, but Cole gets really hot when he sleeps, so he's a little bit more particular about bedding, so we're trying to be really strategic about what we pick for in here, but I'm really excited about this coming together. Oh, let me get the light in here. And now we're gonna go visit our Olympic expert. He has been refreshing the medal count all day. Kind of addicted to some kind of sport. Yeah. Um, he's working on the last lamp right now. We just tested out both lamps. When they're on, I have to show you what it's like. Okay, ready? Am I supposed to be participating? Sure, I, I mean, I can run over. Are right, you guys ready? One, two, three. It's perfect, it's so cozy. Trying out all of the local pizza joints, trying to find out the best one. And today is Randy's Pizza. High hopes. Yeah, we're not we're not feeling too too strongly about this one. But that's okay. We not, also got some garlic knots. Not feeling too strongly about any of them. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see what she looks like. Oop, you ready? Take a head. Yeah. Looks just like what <laughs> we thought it would. She looks shiny. I have. She could use a blotting wipe. almost 11 o'clock now um i have a pretty big to-do list for school today i want to try and knock out as much as i can today because um my final will open up tomorrow so i just want to get all of the smaller assignments and group work out of the way so that way i can focus on that and then we're also heading to Maryland this upcoming weekend. So just want to like check all that stuff off um, before we prep to go out of town. Um, but we're about to take a little bit of a break because I have some Amazon return to make. I need to return an area rug that I bought for like the formal downstairs living room. Um, I just didn't really, it just didn't work. And then I have to return a book. So the rug will go to a UPS, the book will go to a Whole Foods. Um, and then we might stop by the apartment and grab a few small things. I honestly don't remember how much is left there. I know we left a good amount of cleaning supplies just because we need to 
deep clean that before we officially like move out return the keys um and things like that but yeah i've just been doing some schoolwork. we watched suni lee do her uneven bars um and then i also started some laundry um so it should be a pretty pretty chill day um nothing too crazy going on i do think we'll have to swing by the grocery store to get a few smaller things that we just don't need in bulk like from costco um also i'm loving costco by the way it is so much fun um but yeah that's pretty much what we have going on i'm hoping i can like really cruise through my school work today because i really want to build one of the many lego sets that we have upstairs i have this vision of kind of like a little bit of a disney shelf in our bookshelves that's a mouthful um in our loft how we have the two bookshelves um on either side of the tv i kind of have a vision of one of them being a disney shelf because i have an up lego set to build and i also have quite a few funko pops i just don't i don't want that many on the bookshelves in the office so i kind of want to build that so that's going to be my reward if i can like power through some of this stuff so we'll see if we get to it but yeah enough enough rambling for me i'm excited to to bring you guys along seven o'clock we are back from our ice cream trip and i mentioned earlier i okay so i didn't do all of the schoolwork on my to-do list today but that was a really ambitious list and i got two of like the more or i got like the big time consuming there we go now we're focused i got like the time consuming part out of the way so i'm going to treat myself to a lego set this is the up house my sister got this um for cole and i for christmas and it's a relatively small set it's um about 600 pieces so i don't think it'll should take me too long to build um but I kind of want to do like a little Disney shelf out here with this and some of my Funko Pops. So this is going to be our fun little decompress, especially after last week. This is my, my zen, if you will. <laughs>
it's about nine o'clock. I have finished the up house. It's very cute. It's a bit tighter in there than I thought it was going to be. And I don't think the balloons are all in the right spot, but all in all, it's really cute. Put Mr. Fredrickson on the porch. His name is Carl. But his last name's Fredrickson. Who calls him Mr. Fredrickson? Well, Carl's on the porch. We have a little oh. mailbox. Here is Russell. I think I showed you guys him earlier on. Can't get it to focus worth the crap. Um, I hate his backpack. Actually, it's so top heavy and I can't get him to stand up so i don't know if he's gonna keep this on might take that off put it on the inside of the house if i could get it to to stay and maybe i'll put him somewhere standing and then the star of the show is really dug hold on let me see if i can get it to focus now yeah put you guys a little bit closer isn't he so cute um, but yeah, and we watched um, Find Me Falling on Netflix. Cole, what were your thoughts? You were more engaged than I was because I was trying to build this. It was good. Better than a lot of Netflix movies I've seen. This is true. Um, but yeah. Now it's time to go put this on the, on the trophy shelf. And then shower skincare. It is 10 o'clock. I am struggling to even talk without yawning. So I'm going to end this weekend of my life here. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. I really appreciate you being here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.